All right, Unit 8, Reactions and Solution Continued. We're going to talk about diluting solutions. What we hope to accomplish with this screencast is how to calculate a final concentration of a solution that is diluted by adding more solvent. And then, second objective, calculate the volume of an initial, more concentrated solution that is needed to make a target volume of a more dilute solution. Both of those concentrations would be given in molarity. Um, that was a random slide. So let's look at the following. I've got one liter of a one molar sodium chloride solution and I also have a tenth of a liter of a ten molar sodium chloride solution. Which one is more concentrated and which one has more sodium chloride? Pause. Find the answer. Okay, I'm hoping that you thought about the answer. As far as which one is more concentrated, well the 10 molar, of course, would be because I have 10 moles in one liter versus just one mole in one liter. Now, when it says which has more sodium chloride, it really means which one has more particles of the sodium chloride in it. And of course, the sodium chloride would actually be in solution sodium ions and chloride ions. But really, how many moles of sodium chloride would we have in that solution? Well, as we weren't learned in the last uh, screencast, if we multiply the volume times the molarity, we end up with the number of moles in that solution. So, looking at both the 10 molar solution, if I have one liter of that one molar, I will end up with one moles kind of weird to put a plural, one mole of sodium chloride. If I have a tenth of a liter of a 10 molar solution, oh, I will also have one mole of sodium chloride. It's important to keep in mind that volume times molarity is going to give me the moles of the solute. So the answer to the question, by the way, is neither. They both have the same amount of sodium chloride. I just have less volume of the more concentrated solution. All right, so let's look at how much 18 molar sulfuric acid is needed to prepare 250 milliliters of a 6 molar solution. Now that 250 milliliters of a 6 molar solution is going to have a certain number of moles of sulfuric acid in it. Where are those moles going to come from? Well, those moles are going to come from the more concentrated, that 18 molar sulfuric acid. All right. So I find it helpful because there's a lot of numbers for us to start doing this given and the unknown. So in the given, I'm asking how much of an 18 molar sulfuric acid solution is needed. So really, how many milliliters of my 18 molar solution sulfuric acid is needed. I know that I want to end up with 250 milliliters of a 6.0 molar solution of sulfuric acid. Well, why don't we find the number of moles needed? Moles of sulfuric acid needed for our final for the final solution. Well, I have 250 milliliters of the solution times in a thousand milliliters I have one liter times I have 6.0 moles of sulfuric acid in every one liter. This is the 6.0 molarity of the solution. So if I do that, I have 250 divided by 1,000 times 6. I get 1.50 moles 
H2SO4 needed. Where are those moles going to come from? Well, it's going to come from this concentrated solution. Okay, I have to get the moles from here. So, what I want to look at now is the volume of the 18 molar sulfuric acid solution needed to supply that 1.5 moles of H2SO4. Okay. Well, all right, I need 1.50 moles of H2SO4. I have 18 moles of H2SO4 in one liter of that solution. This is that 18 molar. In one liter, I have a thousand milliliters. That's going to give me the milliliters of the 18 molar solution needed. So I have that 1.5 divided by 18 and then times a thousand. I will need 83 milliliters. Two significant figures because all of my given information has two. So the idea here is that you look at the two solutions that you have, the more concentrated and the more diluted. Get them to the number of moles you need, and then on the one where you're missing either the, the molarity or the volume, use what you've got to figure out how much of the initial you needed. Okay, let's look at a different problem. If I dilute half a liter of 4 molar sodium hydroxide to a volume of 4 liters, what is the final concentration? Okay, again, let's look at the given information because I think it's easier um, than looking back at the numbers. I have 0 0.50 liters of a 4.0 molar sodium hydroxide solution. I'm going to dilute that to 4.0 liters and I don't know what the concentration is going to be. Okay. <clears throat> Remember, molarity is moles per liter. I know what the liters are going to be. I don't know the number of moles to calculate the molarity. Where do those moles of sodium hydroxide come from? Oh, they come from that half liter of the 4.0 molarity. So again, let's find the moles sodium hydroxide from the first solution. So I have that 0 0.50 liters times 4.0 moles sodium hydroxide in one liter. This is going to give me the moles of sodium hydroxide that are in that solution. If I look at that, I have 0.5 times 4 gives me 2.0. Now I'm going to find the molarity. Ah, I don't know what I did there. Hold on. Oops. Molarity of the final solution. Because remember, I can make it more dilute or I can evaporate water out, okay, but that solution concentration um, is where the moles come from. So I have 2.0 moles of sodium hydroxide over 4.0 liters of solution, and that will give me 0 0.50 molar sodium hydroxide solution. 